Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll explain you about CAN bus protocol that is also very much asked in the interviews. So let's start with the key points for CAN bus. Whenever you are asked about CAN bus protocol in interview, you will just tell these key points and that will be sufficient. First of all, CAN. CAN stands for Controller Area Network. Then the CAN bus is a robust vehicle bus standard. And the third point is it is made to allow devices or microcontrollers to communicate with each other without the need of a host. Okay, so that is a major advantage in this CAN protocol. And if you see the diagram, then this is the CAN bus and there are certain CAN nodes. They are connected over the bus. So this will be the overall architecture for CAN bus protocol. Now coming to the advantages. First advantage is high speed data rate. In CAN bus, we can get up to 1 Mbps of speed and then low cost. And then the third one, auto retransmission for lost messages. If some messages are lost, then they will be retransmitted automatically. Now coming to the disadvantages. So first one is it has limited number of nodes. Up to 64 nodes can be added on the CAN bus. Next is software development and maintenance cost is high and the signal integrity issues the signal might be altered or there will be some integrity issues associated with them there is a possibility so that was an overview about the CAN bus protocol that's it for this video thank you very much for watching this video i wish you all the very best for your job interviews